Okay, we got us a, stri a striped skunk today on the trap line. I know a lot of people, when they catch a skunk, they freak out. They're like, oh my God, what am I going to do with it? They try to get it out of the trap and they just leave it lay. Um, skunks can be pretty profitable. You can tan the hides and sell them that way. They're worth, you know, four or five bucks if you sell them to a fur buyer. Um, you can get the essence out of the glands and you can sell that. You can see we got him in a 160, so he's kind of, his glands are pretty full. So we're going to show you how to extract that. We're going to show you skin and flesh and stretching, just like we always do. But uh, this guy stinks a little bit. All your skunks are probably going to stink a little bit, some more than others. But we're going to show you it's really easy and really quick to make this skunk not smell at all. So uh, we're going we're gonna to do that for you right now. What we use is basically the ingredients you can get at, at any store, hard, uh, grocery store or pharmacy or anything else. You need hydrogen peroxide, 3%. You want to buy a pint of it. The thing you're going to need is regular baking soda. You're going to need uh, right around a quarter of a cup. And then the last thing you're going to need is some dish soap, Dawn dish soap, or generic dish soap is fine. And then you're going to need some water. This really works good, you know, if your dog would get in the skunk. Um, it's okay to use this on them, but just don't, don't get it in her eyes. And then once you use this mix once, you can't save it. It's like a volatile solution. So you're just, just one shot deal. So if you can and you're, gonna, you're really going to get in a skunk trapping like we do, we save up, you know, four, five, six skunks, you know, that are freeze them and then we do it all at once. But today we're just going to do this one skunk. Then we're going to let them dry and then we'll move on to skinning and flushing. So what you want to do is first thing you want to do, you want to get about a quarter cup of baking soda. And then we're going to add our hydrogen peroxide. Just pour that all in there. Now this mixture is going to like carbonate or foam up a little bit um, and that's really what it's supposed to do so don't uh, don't worry too much about that and then you want about a teaspoon of dish soap and we're going to take mix that up get it good and mixed You can use a rag um, or a sponge or you know anything that you will soak it up. Then you take your skunk and you just start washing him. You want to get him good and get the solution on there good and kind of scrub it in. Just like you, you know, if you're doing your dog, like I said, you can do your dog or your cat if they get in the the skunk you can use this solution on them just just keep it out of their eyes it's okay for you know to get in their ears and stuff like that but not in their eyes you're going to be amazed once you do this how this skunk doesn't smell at all i mean he will smell zero zero smell like i said it's kind of a a little time consuming when you do this that's why we try to save it up and do a couple skunks at a time if you trap them like we do and you catch them in the in the 160s it's it's usually not very bad but I know guys that catch them in a foot trap and you know they kinda smell after they shoot them or whatever many or to get him in a cage trap and um, if he smells really really bad you can take in the skunk and the, the whole skunk and the trap and everything and drop it in a uh, in a, uh, a really cold river and leave it in that river for a couple of days that'll get rid of a lot a lot of the smell and then you can come in and and do this now it's just like a a wet dog, you know. To, it's going to smell as you're doing it. It's going to smell. Now you can see it's really starting to foam up and get like oxygenated is what they call it. 
And you just want to rub that in real good. Make sure you do a really good job. One of these batches will do basically one skunk. So the tail is probably the most important thing to get. That's kind of right where their their gun barrel is. So when they spray, that's like I say, just keep working it in. Give them a get them good and and worked up. Plus, this will uh, this will clean up them, kind of get that little bit of that yellow out of them, them white uh, things. And if you want to get them mounted, you know your taxidermist will really appreciate this that you you do this before you take him the skunk. So, well, now we got him all pretty well cleaned up. We're gonna take and just rinse him off in the water. Oh yeah, here, smell that. Can't even smell them, see? Don't you wish we had smell-o-vision? <laughs> no, he really, he doesn't smell at all anymore, so. Now, when you hang this to dry, hang him. This is one of the only critters that I hang by the back foot to let him dry. Reason is, I don't want to have him hanging by his front feet and then his guts and stuff will settle down and it'll put pressure on them glands right there and they'll leak. The glands are right on each side of the the anus, so you don't wanna you don't wanna have that leaking down on you. So we'll get him kind of squidgied off and we'll get him hung up and see how nice he's coming out nice and white. Skunks are actually they got some awesome, nice, long fur on their tails. They're, they're pretty cool. Just the fur market for them is, uh, you know, it's kind of a novelty. But skunks are pretty easy to catch, especially later in the year. You can get out and do a little scouting, and you find a den, and you set up right by it. You know, it's not uncommon to catch um, eight, nine skunks out of one den. So... All right, so that's what we do to clean them off. And remember, it's a, a pint of hydrogen peroxide, a quarter cup of baking soda, about a tablespoon of uh, Dawn dish soap. You know, mix the solution up, get him all soaked up really good, and then uh, rinse him off in a bucket and then hang him out to dry. We'll let him dry overnight. Tomorrow we'll show you uh, how to extract the glands how to take the essence out of it, and then we'll skin him and put him up on a board and dry him just like we do our coons. So.